Like, I feel like I have the same almost intensity that you have, but I'm not a finisher. Like, I don't. You we, get really we, into we, things. We started jujitsu. Did, did we start at the same time? Yeah, basically Be- the same time. Beverly yeah. Hills Jiu-Jitsu, right? Yeah. Like, you were the one who brought me down there. Yeah. I'm a blue belt. <laughs> and and barely, 30 years. It's like yeah. 30 years. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, because I start, stop, I don't right. think, you know what I'm saying? And that's in my head. I'm like, ah, oh, if I would have done what Joe did, man, look where I could have been. And I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, why do, and then I start comparing, like, ah, oh, you can do it now. You do that. And I, if I, if I play that game, I'm done because I can never catch up to yeah. other people. Well, a lot of it's like learned behavior patterns. You just have you get stuck in, and if you're unlucky, you can get a bad behavior pattern of constantly quitting things. Right. But if you're lucky, you could. Look, I got very lucky that when I was 15, I got obsessed with martial arts. Right. Because that was the first thing I ever did in my life where I didn't think I was a loser anymore. I was like, I realized that if you work really hard at something and you're completely obsessed with something, it could transform your life. So my my life from the time I was 15 to the time I was 18, I was a different human. Mm-hmm. From 14, 15, I was insecure. I'd get bad social anxiety. We moved around a lot. Right. I'd get picked on a lot. And I went from that to being completely confident Mm -hmm. like being just a different human being i was fighting all the time it wasn't like to me the uh, the fear of like conflict was pretty much gone because i was just engaging in conflict all over the country i was flying around my whole high school all my time so i got in my head that the way to feel better and to get life to improve is to just fucking dig in mm-hmm. and keep going and don't ever quit. Don't fucking quit. That's so great. But I got lucky that that's something that I fell into when I was 15. I often think about, you know, there was one day, dude, one day when I was coming home from a baseball game where I walked up the stairs. We were getting ready to ride the T, which is like the Boston mm-hmm. subway, subway system. And we were getting ready to ride the T, but the line after the, the baseball game was like really long. There were so many people that were on the T. So we, just for a goof, walked up the stairs to see this Taekwondo school. And as we were walking up the stairs, this guy, John Lee, who was a national champion at the time, is preparing for the World Cup. And he was like 28 years old. He was in his prime. And he was kicking this bag. And as I was going up the stairs, I was hearing whoomp, and then the sound of a chain, like shishink, whoomp, shishink. And I went up and watched this guy kick the bag, and I was like, it's "What? Like the tong, f- tong is po that? and yeah. kickboxing? What is kicking the pole? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah." And I was, I was just, bl- I was like, "I want to learn how to do that." Right. And I was there the next day. I signed up. I, I had enough money to pay for the class. So I signed up, and I was there every day from then on. I was there every day. I mean, every day. I worked out every day of the week. I worked out Sunday. I worked out every day. I never took time off. I was there for hours every day. I just eat food, go there, and I'll be starving by the time I left, and then head home and go Man, back again. That's your blessed brother because you you have something that most people don't have. That they don't have that. Like you have everybody who has the intensity in the beginning. You know, when they see something like I want to do this, I want to say yeah. I do. Like every, I get all pumped up. I'm like, this is it. This is all I want to do, and then it's like. You don't want to suffer. You don't want to put the you know the work yeah. in. You know, that's the difference between we are. we both love jujitsu. Well, to love something you gotta you you gotta know it. You have yeah. to know it, right? You can't love something you don't know. Well, I love it, but you know what I don't love? Obviously, I don't love the mornings getting the gi cold gi on. You know, there's things about getting in with a <laughs> you know what I'm saying getting on the mats. They're sweaty. They've been there since like five, five yeah. o'clock in the morning. I got to travel to do it. Uh, it's gonna hurt. These guys are coming after me. You know, it's like you yeah. know you, you're in there and it's uh, I'm nervous and my wh- so I, I stop. I, like I I I get back into it. You know, I'll I'll let it go for a while. You do. You go through that and you become. You know, you overcome those little things, and it's like, that's how you grow. It's like, I get right up to the edge of it, and then I'm like, ah, I just, so I don't love it as much as you. It's like, you have to, you have to, you commit. You have to suffer. You have to suffer. You know, that's the only way you're going to show your love for anything is you got to suffer for it. There's got to be that. You've overcome that. Otherwise, 
you you don't you you die to you know you you have two pe everybody has two people inside of them mm -hmm. everybody has the person inside of them that wants to go to sleep right the person inside of them that wants to quit that guy's winning by the way <laughs> that's the guy who's you see before you yeah. right now and the other guy that's like no this is what you need to do right. but the problem is with a lot of people that other guy that's like no that's what you need to do that person's really timid. And that person, they, they just, well, maybe it'd be better if we just went for a run. Like, shut the fuck right. up. I'm going to eat chips. Right. And that that timid version of you is what you need to cultivate into being, like, the boss. Right. That's the boss. So I have a boss. My boss is that voice. Yes. I let that vo voice win every time. I love it. That voice says, shut the fuck up and get in the cold water, pussy. That's, that's dying to yourself, yeah. man. That's literally saying... I'm not going to go yeah. where I'm comfortable. I'm going to, you know, I'd much rather do this. I'm sure you'd, you know, much rather do something than jump in a cold plunge every morning, you, know, yeah. you know, get a cup of coffee and go hang out and talk. You know, you do that. And that's something I need to do more and more. Like, like yeah. we all do. It's like, it's the only way you're going to embrace it and, and get better at things. I'm trying, literally, with flying. Like I used to, I, I drive everywhere these gigs and it was getting so much that I'm like, I'm afraid of flying, but I'm like, I gotta just die to myself. Just do this. Have faith. You're gonna be fine. Just do yeah. it. And each time you do it, you're like, "All right, we did it." Yeah. And you have a bad flight, and you're like, "I'm not gonna do it again." You know. But it's like, you know, <laughs> it's you just gotta give the boss some strength. Yes. Yeah. And the, the boss, right. the boss has to win a bunch of battles. And when the boss wins a bunch of battles, then he wins them every day. Then eventually, the boss becomes a louder voice. And then you get get it to the point where the, the boss gets to tell you what to do and you don't deviate. And even though you have all those feelings, every time I lift the lid on the cold plunge, I'm like, let's not do this. Uh, every <laughs> time. Nice, and, nice. And, but the boss is like, shut the fuck up. The boss gets mad if those voices pop up. So like, I'll make you do an extra minute, bitch. Right. Get the fuck in there. I love it. And, you know, there's two pieces of advice I always give comics or, or just young men in general. Aspire to be the person you pretend to be when you're trying to get laid. <laughs> yeah. Just be that person. Yeah. Instead of pretending to be that person, become that person. Right. Become a person that you would admire. You can do, it's possible to do. If you can pretend to be that person, you can actually be that person. Right. Aspire to be that person. I, and then the second one is live your life like a documentary crew is following you around. Live your life like as if you wanted the whole world to go, wow, that guy's really killing it. Like, I love the way that guy handles things.